Greetings to the citizens of the Republic of the Gambia. Greetings to the citizens of the Sister Republic of Senegal. Greetings to the citizens of the respective ECOWAS member states. Greetings to the citizens of the entire continent of Africa. The same greetings are being extended to other societies, people, regions, groups, families, individuals, institutions who have taken the decision to stand up against tyranny, terrorism, repression, oppression, domination, segregation, isolation, injustice, and the abuse of human rights wherever it is taking place on earth. On our session today, uh, once again, this is your brother, Isa Bokar C. And uh, we have an item that we believe is one of those important and urgent ones that we need to share with the public, uh, particularly citizens of the Republic of the Gambia within and outside. Uh, this is the session that we are going to analyze today, or the item, I would say. The theme is Hillary, USA, Aisatu, Gambia. Dr. Aisatu Ture, first Gambian woman, declares to be an independent presidential candidate. Uh, Gambian women refuse to be limited by past experiences that, in quotes, tethered them in the kitchen and the rice field for ages. Our mothers, aunts, sisters, wives, and daughters, rising from the platform of home builders to the tower of nation builders. From the womb of a woman, we were multiplied into citizens with different needs. Within the huge room of nationhood, we were nurtured by her, the natural caregiver, who never asks for wages, and that is the mother. No one is a better guarantor than the mother who conceived us. In light of the above, the Republic of the Gambia braces up for a change we can rely on. Like Johnson Sirleaf of Liberia, Joyce Hildebanda Ne Tilda of Malawi, and Catherine Samba Panza, our own Dr. Aisa Tuture has the motherly torch. Oppressed masses in the Gambia need so much at this time. Well, adding her candidature to those of the brothers who have been working so hard towards the same goal during the past two decades makes the Gambia's case all the more urgent within the geopolitical arena. Well, we are going to read her own press release, the press release announcing the intention and the decision of Dr. Aisa Tuture. Dr. Aisa Tuture, first Gambian woman, declares to be an independent presidential candidate. Most educated women have been active on Lucas of the political arena of our nation for many decades. Over the recent history of the Gambia, citizens have overcome the myths about womanhood and realized that, indeed, as equal citizens, women have responsibility to salvage the country from its current state of affairs. The emergence of Dr. Aisa Tuture as independent presidential candidate for the 2016 election is to take up the moral responsibility to save um, is to take up the moral responsibility to, to salvage the country from its current state of affairs. The emergence of Dr. Aisa Tuture as independent presidential candidate for the 2016 election is to take up the moral responsibility to save the country from the need of leadership and uh, direction. Dr. Tuture is inspired and motivated by Gambians from different political and religious persuasions. Their desire for change in the face of immense economic hardship, restrictions on our fundamental freedom and personal liberty. It is in context that Dr. Ture is sponsored by individual Gambians who believe that it is possible to have nonviolent change 
through the democratic process to have a better Gambia. As an independent presidential candidate, Dr. Toure has the belief and conviction that we can bring about change for a better Gambia by directing our efforts and political capital towards one end, the singular pragmatic goal of ushering in a new and third republic that brings progress by building strong democratic in instruments and institutions, repealing the obnoxious laws that restrict our freedom and liberty, building a strong economy and the leveling the political playing field for all political parties so that the sovereign will of Gambians will always prevail in their choice of leadership. Concerned with the predicaments of the young people, she feels it is time to salvage the, cur the current situation they find themselves and forge a new and pro promising direction to bring hope and fruitfulness to their lives as the leaders to be. Dr. Aisha Tuturi is cognizant of the compelling need to come together as in the symbol of the broom that serves as the emblem of her campaign. Dr. Ture believes that we are stronger together for a better Gambia and that Gambians should not miss opportunity of history in the making to nurture a democratic culture in the Gambia. As Gambians, we are possessed by our individuality but bound together in the spirit of unity and focused on one goal to bring change for progress in the Gambia. The second part of this item is ALAT. United Democratic Party Executive Committee members being treated so bad in mile two central prisons. Lawyer Usenu Numukonda Dabo, flag bearer and Secretary General of the United Democratic Party, is still held hostage by Yahya Jame, while another UDP supporter, Mr. Suno, remains in a critical condition at mile two central prison. Fanta Dabo, Fatumata Jawara, and Nogo Injai left to die behind closed doors. Kemeseng Jame, Femi Peters, Amadou Sane suffer from swollen legs and are denied treatment. At any minute, at any time, one or two or more of these UDP executive members can die. Unfortunately, that is the hard fact. Take this warning very seriously. Yaya Jame has vowed to make sure they will all die at mile two, and he made it quite clear at Berkama during a rally that he held a couple of months back. We all heard that pronouncement. We have been seeing this over and over. So far, Solo Sanding and Solo Koroma have died. It is either Gambians take to the streets, the army stops obeying Yaya Jame's illegal orders, or the Gambia will plunge into a turmoil. Thank you very much. I will come forward and do the translations in the local language for the benefit of our listeners before we go beyond the time stipulated on our announcement on my Facebook page. Thank you very much. And uh, these audiovisual messages can be accessed on my Facebook, Facebook page and the page of uh, Hello Gambia uh, Radio and uh, Journal, which is the Banjul Focus, and also on YouTube. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.